Hey guys, it's Holly. So I've been making some home videos lately and one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube is cleaning channels. And I know that may sound weird to some people, but to me it is highly motivating to watch other women clean their house. And it's kind of better than watching like Netflix because you're watching somebody be productive, which in turn kind of inspires you to be productive. So that's what I'm hoping to do for others by making these types of videos. So what I'm doing right now is just clearing out the sink of some dirty dishes and loading the dishwasher. And that's usually one of the first things I do when I clean. I don't do it the same way every time, but this time, that's what I did. Now I'm cleaning out the sink. There's really nothing more satisfying than cleaning the sink and seeing a nice, clean, shiny sink. But that may just be me. I don't know. So now I'm just wiping down the countertops, moving things out of the way. Our countertops don't stay completely clear. We have stuff sitting around. We live our lives in our house. But I do very much subscribe to the thought process of dirty house, cluttered mind, clean house, clear mind. I really find that to be true for myself. It just seems to really help me to be happier when my house is clean. Right now, I'm cleaning the stove. Um, these glass top stoves, they're so hard to keep clean, you can kind of still tell that there's some mess on mine. So I went on Amazon and I bought this like drill attachment, which is a brush, and it does a pretty good job. I probably need one of those razor things, because you can see there's still some spots, but I mean, it's a whole lot better than what it was. So now that I've got the kitchen cleaned up, I'm going to start cooking dinner. And this night I was making kind of like a taco slash tortilla type of Mexican soup. Um, I'm going to start by dicing up some tomato. I learned how to dice this way from Rachel Ray. It's just a whole lot easier than trying to do it any other way because you're using the rings of the onion to kind of help you. Why not? Those are already there. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in my pot and I'm going to brown those up a little bit with some minced garlic and I like garlic so I'm not shy with how much I put in there. And I'm just going to let that brown for a couple minutes. Once I've got that brown like I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and pour in a whole container of chicken broth and let that simmer for a few minutes. Now next I'm going to add this, which is actually browned um, hamburger meat with taco seasoning which we had had tacos the night before and I try not to waste so I try to use the leftovers for something different. And that spice I just showed you, I just found it randomly at the store and I wanted to try it. I don't really know what kind of flavor it added, but the soup was good so I guess it added some. I was just wanting maybe like a little kick and it didn't give it quite as much kick as I wanted which is good because Robbie doesn't like spicy food anyways. So now I'm going to add a can of petite diced tomatoes to the mix and let that cook for a little bit. And additionally I'm going to add a can of tomato sauce to make it a little bit more tomatoey. And I'm going to use a little bit of onion powder and by a little bit I mean a lot apparently. Jeez, I put a lot in there. <laughs> So a lot of the way I cook is I just kind of dig things out of the pantry and I'm like, oh, that might sound good in there. So I found this ranch powder. I added a pretty generous amount of that because apparently that's what I do with spices. And the next thing I'm going to add is just some garlic powder. And then I thought maybe just a little bit of cumin. I need to get another one. I'm running low. And that was just a little bit of black pepper. You always need a little black pepper and stuff, right? 
The next item, you either love it or hate it, but it's cilantro, and I decided to get some fresh cilantro because I just thought it looked really good in the store, and this is me who doesn't really know what she's doing chopping, trying to chop, but it worked. So now I'm just going to add the cilantro into the soup, and you don't want to add this too early on because you don't want it to get too, I guess, disintegrated, but you do want to put it in there long enough for the cilantro to kind of get its flavor all up in the soup, which is what you want. And while the soup is finishing up cooking, I just wanted to kind of do a quick clean up of the house. So this is me vacuuming. I only wish it went that quickly. I wish I could put myself fast forward all the time and that just be real life, but it's not. So I finished vacuuming and I'm going to go back over and add a container of rotini into the soup. And I did this because Robbie likes noodles and soup, but it actually ended up tasting really good. It's kind of like a chili-ish, but with a Mexican twist. And now the noodles have had a few minutes to cook, so I'm going to go ahead and fix our bowls because Robbie's home. And I'm going to add to mine just a little bit of shredded cheese and sour cream, and that turned out really good. But Robbie doesn't like the sour cream, so he just ate it by itself with a little bit of cheese, and he said it tasted really good. So I think it was a hit. So that's going to pretty much wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you could do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more home content, so if you like that kind of thing, I'm your girl. Alright, y'all have a great day.